Stay-at-home parents don't always get the credit they deserve for all the work they do. Mm -hmm. And now a new study looks into just how valuable household and child child care tasks at, are done, how valuable those tasks are. Stay-at-home parents, we see you. We love you. We respect you. And I still, I, we were talking about this before. Yeah. I don't think the value that we have come up with still is enough no, for I everything mean, I, that a stay-at-home parent does. Right, and researchers have looked at this for a very long time and trying to figure out how you actually put a value mm -hmm. on this. Um, so, But this is one way that they do it. They looked at the time, the amount of time that people spend, that these stay-at-home parents spend doing things like cleaning, shopping, right. cooking, laundry, emotional support. Every, everything. Yes, mm. everything, everything, basically. Everything, yeah. Psychologist, yeah. Psychologist yeah. doctor, you know, house cleaner, all of that. Um, and then what it would cost to outsource that. So what it would cost to have a household cleaner, what it would mm. cost to have someone do your shopping mm -hmm. for you, what it would cost to <laughs> do therapy, mm. yeah. right? And uh, they came up with some pretty big numbers, but I, like you said, I don't know big and, as big as we thought. So uh, okay, should be. So if you want to break this down, should we break two kids? Break yeah, it down to two, two kids. kids. Two kids, cleaning. How much time do you clean a week? Well, Nin it never stops for you. you should never know. stops. So, so would, is, would you say this is accurate? 19 hours? I would say I spend more than 19 hours. More than 19 cleaning. hours? Yeah. Uh, shopping? How much would you say you spend? Uh, not qu 14 is what they have here. I yeah. probably don't do that much. Cooking, mm. I definitely... Definitely don't do cooking. Hours. Okay, yeah, cooking was twenty, <laughs> almost twenty-four hours mm. cooking. Yeah, laundry, uh, almost twelve hours. Mm. Emotional support, eighty-four How hours. How many oh. hours are in a week? There, see that because part that's right there. How much emotional support? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Because they probably call you like when they need something. You're all gonna the time. call us all morning, right? Can I? Can I? Can I do it? Can I say it? Yeah. Heather got two calls. Today, two yeah. calls. She got a she got a phone call. What in the last half hour? Yeah. Last twenty minutes? Yeah. Heather got a phone call. And that was because someone forgot their gymnastics uniform, and then I got a phone call earlier because she just wanted to show me Ollie the dog. Ollie the dog, which is very sweet. Yeah, yes. which is very very, very sweet. Very sweet. So, <laughs> and here's the thing, Heather's at work. Yeah. She's not even at home, and they, she's getting the phone calls. No she's idea. not even at home, no and she's idea. getting the phone calls. No idea. So What's, it's twenty four seven. I mean, yeah. Ollie Always needed support. Call. Ollie needed support. <laughs> Ollie was just sleeping. She just wanted me to see Ollie still sleeping in her bed. But you think about it. You think about if you are a stay at home parent, the time that you get to yourself. What is that? There's yeah. no time you get for yourself because yeah. it's an around the clock job yeah. if you've got kids. So you think about this. So they looked at this and they found San Francisco is the most expensive spot, at least in the U.S., to mm -hmm. do this. Because mm -hmm. you think about how much it costs to outsource mm -hmm. stuff. Sure. It's mm -hmm. pretty, pretty expensive in San Francisco. Um, L.A. was number was number two in the U.S. Then you had, uh, or sorry, D.C. So Washington, D.C. Yeah, New York, yeah. L.A., Chicago. Um, and so what they found in San Francisco, so we're talking about the most expensive, they talked about it was $5,200 a month okay. is what it went out to, right? So do the math so it's on like that. more than $5,000 a month. If they also looked at it over a 20-year lifespan of these kids that you're taking care of them, mm -hmm. and they found $1.2 million. That's unbelievable. Over that mm. time. So that breaks down to a year. What we say, that was $272 or something? Yeah. So, Almost two hundred seventy-five thousand mm. dollars. Yeah, what but it's, it's worth it yeah. for two. For that's for two kids. That's right. a lot. It's a lot. It's though. a lot. I yeah. mean, I think a lot, as in they are deserving of that. Yeah. But it's it's when you look at it in terms of hours, that yeah. is that they are underappreciated. Yeah. <laughs> I think that pay yeah. needs to go up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, there have been discussions over the years about you know how can we compensate yeah. people for some of this work. No one's come up with a really good solution mm -hmm. yet. Uh, for that, but yeah. it's just an interesting thing to look at. If you can quantify it, then is it something that maybe you would pay for?